Canada geese can be a beautiful sight in their natural wild settings. Whether swimming placidly on a woodland lake or as long honking bees crossing an autumn sky, they represent symbols of ultimate freedom with their wild haunting calls. However, another not so inspiring image of geese has recently been replacing the romantic ideal just described the urban goose. Non-migrating resident geese have increased dramatically from several thousand in the mid-1960s to an estimated 3.5 million as the new millennium began. With this surge in numbers, Canada geese have invaded the cities of North America. Attracted by fertilized, well-tended lawns and the protection of urban parks and lakes, these geese have become messy, noisy intruders. When their numbers are high, Canada geese pollute waters, beaches, parks, and golf courses with their droppings and feather mess. They tear out the most desirable grasses of lawns and leave ugly bare soil where green shorelines have been. Abundant droppings on baseball diamonds, soccer fields, and picnic areas make play there unattractive and potentially unhealthy. Perhaps their worst threat to human life stems from the fact that they've become a major cause of damage to commercial and general aviation aircraft across North America, leading to a number of human deaths in these accidents. In spring, when geese begin to set up territories for nesting, they become aggressive and noisy with constant fighting. Once the eggs are laid, geese even turn aggressive towards human beings. Geese use their powerful wings, beaks, and feet when they fight, and reports of aggressive attacks and even serious injuries to humans have increased along with urban goose numbers in parks and corporate centers. Clearly, these are not the elusive wild geese we once idolized. They've become an unwanted nuisance and a blight on the landscape. So how can you fight back? Get a goose buster from BirdX. The Goose Buster is a patented device that plays real, naturally recorded alarm and alert calls of Canada geese over a system of loudspeakers. These calls are part of the natural vocal repertoire of geese and cause instinctive escape behaviors of running, flying, or swimming away from the area where geese hear them. The calls are stored on microchips as six-second units, two to four of which will play in random sequence from each of the four speakers every time the Goose Buster is triggered to play. Geese hear what sounds like four different geese giving slightly different alarm calls from four different locations. Using the speakers in series creates a sense of motion from the goose's perspective, while variation in the calls makes it much harder for the geese to learn to ignore or override their instinct to flee them. Alarm calls are played at roughly the same loudness as natural goose calls. At that volume, the goose buster doesn't disturb people or animals as carbide exploders and other noisy goose dispersal devices do. In fact, they sound so natural, most people don't even realize that they aren't real geese, and so it can be used in a corporate park without distracting the employees. Goose buster is easy to set up and can be powered by either AC or DC sources. Presetting the timer permits you to limit call playback to the hours when geese regularly come to the desired area on feeding or roosting flights. As an example, newly arrived migrants first landing in winter wheat or alfalfa fields are the easiest of all geese to scare off because geese are uneasy in unfamiliar locations. Set the call units to go off from one hour after sunrise until two hours later, and again in late afternoon, the most common time for feeding flights. Geese arriving hear the calls and leave without ever landing, or if they've recently landed, they take off at the first alarm call they hear, and they seldom come back. Even geese that can't fly will do their best to avoid the alarm and alert calls. In one of our tests, geese walked more than a third of a mile to escape the calls. Even though they couldn't fly due to molting of flight feathers, two goosebuster units cleared 35 acres in 25 minutes. Geese don't always run or fly if the first call is played, though they often do. But each repetition of the goosebusters' calls seems to make the geese more uneasy, more nervous. They stay in head-up alert postures, avoid feeding, and gather into larger groups for safety. Next, they begin moving off to places they can relax without being constantly on guard against whatever danger caused the alarm and the alert calls. Like humans, geese want to rest quietly and eat without disturbance. If their meals and their naps are constantly disturbed by alarm calls, they go someplace quiet, someplace else, where they get a good rest. Goosebuster is not claimed to be an infallible magic bullet. No such thing exists in the war on problem geese. But it is a formidable new weapon in the arsenal against geese, one that can greatly improve your success at becoming goose-free. Nothing short of lethal removal is going to guarantee geese won't come back. But even killing them doesn't eliminate the incentive for more geese to come. Without a goose buster, your property is still a peaceful and safe paradise for geese. Goose busters worked alone to successfully remove all geese from designated areas up to 35 acres in some field trials. Still, Goose Buster really works best when two or more units are used in conjunction with other techniques to reduce the goose problems. Daily human harassment of geese coupled with a Goose Buster has proven successful at removing even the most stubborn of territorial and nesting geese from the corporate park where tests were conducted. 
To date, all field tests conducted with the Goosebuster have resulted in removal of geese from the desired area. As long as researchers were free to use Federal Fish and Wildlife Service approved harassment techniques as needed. Some other options available to use with the Goose Buster include dogs, pyrotechnics, plastic alligators, and food aversion treatments, also available from BirdX. Given our past successes, your success with the Goose Buster is pretty much assured if you invest the effort necessary to make sure the geese are motivated to leave the zone where the alarm calls are audible and thus prevent possible habituation to calls. Even geese that don't show the normal reaction of fleeing the alarm calls immediately can be trained to avoid the calls with a few hours of effort over the first several days. So get Goosebuster and get started in getting rid of your problem geese once and for all.